don't know if you hear me okay. So I'm looking at some duplexes. Oh, cool. Thanks. Uh, just, you know, the kids are asleep and uh, it's been a while. I haven't done any looking at all. So um, tonight, just playing with the settings here, trying to get something clear on the web. Uh, it looks, still looks kind of grainy. Maybe I'll increase it later. But uh, just look at Milwaukee deals tonight. Uh, I went ahead and went on Realtor.com up here, guys. See Realtor.com. Yeah, I'll show you guys what I did here. Just yeah, Realtor.com. Went typed in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Did a search. So this is more for y'all amateurs. And then I went to uh, properties types, and then I, I selected multifamily because I'm only looking for uh, multifamily or duplexes or or a fourplex. Uh, so I did this. And then they did his filter. And then you can kind of zoom in over here. All right? Do it slow. And then maybe you can play with prices right here. So I did like 15,000 to 70,000. Alright. And then, uh, let's probably start with the lowest prices, right? Like this one here. Keep in mind, I don't know anything about. Uh, I don't know anything about the area, but you can kind of just look at the pictures. You see how it's bordered up right here. Uh, so it looks like it is vacant. Just kind of go through the pictures. So I'm not sure what's going on here, right here. But you can see. Yeah, it looks pretty, pretty crappy, but it looks doable. I mean, uh, I don't like it, <laughs> so I'm gonna move on. <laughs> so for you, some of you guys, you guys might like it. Uh, let's move on to this one here. This one looks nice from the outside. Close out of here. Go through here, looks like somebody's living there. Sounds good. Got a nice sofa. Got an upper lower. Okay, so it's got it looks like it's a duplex. The outside looks good for 34. Alright, that looks pretty good. Let's uh let's dig into wow this one looks pretty nice too but let's look let's look at this a little bit further. Let's get the address here. Uh, what I usually do is I'll just copy here, right click, search, and see what comes up. I'll probably use I usually like to go to Zillow. Uh, oh is this the this is the old one? I'm sorry. Close it out. Where to go? Oh, this one here. Right click here, copy, search. I think it's this one. Yep. Oh, it's a foreclosure. Alright, so is it two three duplex? I think it's a Three two, like a three bedroom, two baths. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Uh, so it as is. All right. Let's look at the home values. Estimated sixty nine. All right. So it's almost double the amount. Uh, 
Okay, so back in 2009, I mean, it's still in that price, around 70. Let's look at this here. I guess it was listed recently. Yeah, we can look at some comparables. Recent sold. Something that's sim similar to it. Uh, six bad. Uh, 42, so 50. So it's pretty close to it. This is just high level. So, so if I look at it, I kind of like the way it looks. I'll probably need to go in and look at it, but it looks decent from the outside. Right? So, what I probably want to do is usually Zillow will give you like a rent um, price. I don't see that here. So uh, I'll go to like um, rental meter right here, right? So rental meter, you just rent o meter. Oops. So where to go? So I'll copy this address here. Right, paste. And I think it was a uh, three, three, two, three, two. Get it to analyze. So it was basing it on average about nine hundred. And I'm gonna assume that's maybe nine hundred for each unit. But let's go with the lower one. So it's about 750, 795. So let's go ahead and start doing some numbers on this, right, guys? So I yeah, got about 60 guys here. If you guys have any questions, just go ahead and message me. So I'm going to start a new report. I do mine off Bigger Pockets. Go to the tools, I do the rental. Uh, start a new report. Um, and this is a paid Bigger Pockets. It's like a paid. Um, calculator here uh, those of you guys don't know it so I already have that I just save the memories I'm just gonna paste it here this is the address I'm gonna cut paste this is Wisconsin zip code so the annual property taxes let's even go back uh, I was playing uh, around with uh, Milwaukee's um, website and I think it's right here we're just going here but I think their sites down so I think what I did earlier was um, I think it might even be here. Let's see the list, the tax. No. It doesn't. Let's see if Zillow lists it. How are you guys doing tonight? And I don't see it. Anything listed here for taxes. I can't get there. Because I was playing around on Milwaukee's site here earlier too and I can't find anything so I think I'm just gonna base it off what my uh, my duplexes 
and my do my duplex there is right around that same area it's about 3,000 something so we'll go ahead and play with the calculator on around 3,000 so the annual property tax I'm gonna assume it's 3,000 so I'll just do the math there so I'll bring the calculator over I didn't have to do the math. All right, property. Uh, I should put the picture in there. Let's do a quick save. I'm going to capture this picture here. Desktop. Close out, add the picture, capture, let's go next step. So purchase price is 34,900. Uh, let's just do for a good, I don't know, 40,000 maybe. Repair, let's just say, I don't know, it looks like it's livable. There's people living in it already, so let's say, let's just say we throw in 5,000. Oop, this is, that? This is AR, ARV, uh, estimate repair cost 5,000. Uh, this is just ARV, let's just assume it's 40,000 after we repair it. 40,000 let's make it a cast purchase we'll do next gross monthly rent so remember how I was looking at this I mean let's just go I don't know a little bit lower yeah, let's just say 750 all right so gross so we'll do calculator some 750 times 2 about 1500 electricity let's just say uh, you might need it for the common area like lighting um, like lighting on uh, hallways and stuff like that I don't know like we haven't been there so uh, let's just assume it's like 50 bucks a month uh, water and sewer I say you pay for their water uh, so let's just say 100 bucks for now uh, garbage uh, HOA let's just assume it comes with it uh, insurance uh, I want to just base it off mine uh, I want to say it's like 65 bucks a month so like I think mine was 65 65 times 12 about well, yep yeah, it's about 800 bucks a month for a duplex over there vacancy let's just say 10 percent of the year might be uh so we're counting like expense like well we're gonna count that maybe we're saving up for people who um so if it might be vacant so this is a percentage and this is kind of a lot actually so let's I mean we can just go five percent so you're kind of saving up repairs maintenance I just say five percent capital expenditures let's say you want to save up to repair a roof or so you know hot water heater uh, let's just say five percent and let's say you don't want to you don't want to manage it yourself, and you just want to hire somebody. And I think, let's see here, it's actually 150 is too much. I think my uh, property manager company was doing about 130. Eight to nine. 
Yeah, nine percent. Like one thirty for duplex. So let's just calculate. See, if that's a good deal. So there you guys go. So if we buy this property for forty thousand, put about five thousand dollars worth of repair on it, it comes out to forty-five thousand monthly income. Let's say the lowest we're, we're talking about. And then your expense, and this is including if you guys look at you know if you're already contributing vacancy in your capex, uh, and you're already contributing repairs into it. So monthly expense is 825 for expense, and then this will be your cash flow for the month. So uh, this looks like a good deal, guys. <laughs> What do you guys think? Huh? Six of you guys on there. What do you guys think? Uh, so what this is saying here is 18% cash on cash. So if you take 45000 put it in the bank, um, you'll get like an 18% return. Um... So normally I'll look at how long does it take for me to multiply my money by uh, to double how how long it take for me to double my money. So looks like maybe year. So each year, ah, not bad, huh, Chua? So uh. So this you can see your profit if you sold it, right? So if you sold it the first year, you make three thousand. Second year, you make eleven thousand. But you can see that you know, as far as in, if you sold it on year five, I think maybe year let's see, five, probably around year eight is when you'll you'll make your money back, which is not bad. You make all your money back. So you make your forty thousand dollar back, and then you just write it out. So you you just make this infinity, right? So that's that's what cash flow is, right? So you'll make this six seventy five monthly, and you make your money back in about seven eight years. What do you guys think about that? That's what cash flow is. So. You know, this is like simple math. Ah, uh, see here, fifty percent rule. Let's see. So the fifty percent rule here. Uh, fifty percent rule pretty much just means like if you were just to look at it uh, quickly, without doing any numbers. And so you take your your monthly income and divide it in half. So that's seven fifty. So this is kind of like a quick uh, quick gauge of how much cash flow you'll get. Uh, so that's pretty high. I mean, I know we did some numbers here, but uh, I mean, this is just rough estimate. That's, that number is still pretty good. Uh, ARV. I don't know. I mean, like I said, when we looked at it earlier. I mean Zillow. Let's see here. Is it the right address? Yep. I mean we're only based on Zillow. This is the ARV. Right? So if you're estimating it if you're kind of basing it on Zillow, then let's go back. Let's go back. Let's edit this. ARV here was it sixty nine? Next step calculate. So let's go back and look at the numbers. So if you already if you're estimating it, 
and the ARV is 69 if you sold it you'll make 32 back <laughs> right it's kind of like 70 percent you know return right so you sold the second year I mean definitely you know more profit you know fifth year you know this is like outrageously so yeah if, if the ARV is correct and you picked up this house which like I said looks livable because there's, there's people living in it you know you can see just from the pictures you know they got a broom they got pots and pan right and there's a bed and a baby carrier and TV All right close out of here right and it only came on the market what was the date on that what was the list under price price yeah it was listed like five days ago so this will be a great deal and it's a duplex all right so Lee says is this too available for public or do you have to pay yeah this is a membership hey Lee so if you go to bigger pockets bigger pockets dot com right here right uh, this is just you close out of here you can go to tools and you can do I mean this, we're not we're just doing a rental property but if you uh, if you click here they give you like uh, they give you five attempts five free uh, five free tries to to test out this calculator and then you know uh, they start charging you I mean you they don't take any money ahead of you so once you can, you can use it for five tries and then and then from there um, it'll, it'll just won't let you use it anymore so then you know if you if you like it just pay for it because what what they're um, it's called this is called like a pro membership so then you can use their tool so if you pay for it I forgot how much I think it was like 200 something for me and then you can you can go to like they have webinars too so you can learn you know um, I mean if you just want to listen to their podcast I don't know if you heard about their pot their uh, big pockets podcast they have it here you can listen to all their podcasts and you know I think last week they were talking about rents from mobile park you know all kinds of stuff these are all free actually this week yeah this week they're talking about owning college dropout to own 900 units that's pretty good I gotta listen to this one so uh, this is it I mean I'm just messing around looking for properties like I said this one looks nice I just found that today look at that roof it looks nice too if it was listed recently you know So, I should be playing around this more. I've been lazy. But, uh, this is how we, uh, investors look at it, you know. So, what if it was, what was listed for? 30, 34,900. It's been five days already. No, the listing hasn't changed. So, what if it was listed for 34? Let's just make it 34. 34,900 Yeah, the monthly cash flow didn't change. Oh, I'll, because we pay cash for it. So my, I'm, my, I forgot. Uh, so just looking around, I mean, hopefully you guys are looking around at deals. Um, you know what? Let's look at some. Let's look at some uh, Detroit. Since we were talking about that today, because Detroit came up a lot today. Let's just see what they look like. Uh, let's go to property type, multi me. 
Come on, look at these. 18,000. Holy cow. This looks... Looks nice from outside, but look at it. It's all boarded up and everything. Let's just see what it looks like. This looks like crap. This side, I don't know if you guys see it. From the side, it looks like it's wooden. And then on the side, they I guess they put a siding on it. But just looking at the interior, holy cow. Yeah. I know like you. Yeah, it doesn't look good. Uh, I like the other one better, the Milwaukee one. There's a uh, another Detroit one. Uh, this one just looks ugly. Nope, don't like this one. Let's look at something more expensive. Let's look at this 52 one. Hey, what's up, Chu? So, uh, you been looking at any deals in Milwaukee? Or are you giving up on it? Nothing. Let's look at this one. I mean, any signs of a uh, property with gates on it? Like right here? It's already a bad sign. <laughs> Let's look at something else. This one, this 50,000 one looks pretty cool. Ah, man, only one photo. Let's look at this one. Man, they all have one picture. This Asian sucks. I take more pictures for them. 49,000, this looks nice. Six pictures. Looks decent. All right, nice driveway. And over here looks kind of messed up fence. Ah, uh, let's see here. Okay, this one is fifty k. Last sold twenty five k. Let's do a quick look. I'm more proficient in Zillow, guys. Let's take a Zillow. So selling for 50k. Two units, newly renovated. So the lower unit pays 550. Uh, let's look at price. So it was bought in 2006 for 25k. I guess they must have fixed it and then flipped it. They tried to they tried to they tried to flip it in 2017 a few months ago for 60 and then no go and then they hit a price drop. So so I think this is what we're talking about earlier is I think Detroit's not a good uh flipping area but a good rental area um, so it was list to see it listed in October uh, so it hasn't so still nobody's bought it yet but we can kind of do the math just do the math in your head how we looked at the other one this is 50,000 and the other one was, you know, no flip. <laughs> yeah, so you kind of do the math. It was lower lower rent. I mean, we're only talking about one right now. Where'd I go? Uh, where'd I go? Where'd I go? I'm going to close this one out. I must have closed it. This is Milwaukee. Oh, they were here. 
So if this is 49, you can kind of do the math. The rent is lower. I think right here. The rent is lower. So, I don't know. It might just be this house. Let's do another look at. See, that was 50. Take a look at this one here. Man, it just looks. I mean, look at this broken patio. 55. I like how it's all brick over here, but it looks like they extended this. I just don't like it. Move on. Look at this one here. So I only got one picture. This one looks pretty. Tall pictures. It's all brick. Looks nice. Digging it. I'm not sure what this is. There's occupied. It looks decent. Alright, it's got gas, electric. Any information on it? Let's do a look. Let's go to Zillow. So it's estimated 50. It's a three unit. It's the car, the car garage. Let's look at prices. So maybe it was picked up somewhere around here. Now it's getting listed over here. Wow, product tax is pretty cheap over here. Just curious to see what the what the rent looks like. Let's take a look guys. Three units. Doesn't tell you. Three baths. So this like, so it's, it's a two. It's a two one. So each unit has two, uh, two bedrooms and one bath. See that? So you just kind of do the math. So it's a three unit. You know, six divided by three, so it's two, and then it's one bath, so let's go here. Too bad, analyze. Uh, well, I guess I'm out, it won't let me. We can kind of do this, thanks Liz. Let's do uh, Detroit and Craigslist. Let's do um, housing. I don't know. Can we do it by zip code? That? Okay. So by zip code, you can kind of get some numbers. 700. 700. Not bad. So let's just say 650 is the lowest. Uh, 
Uh, let's do a quick calculation here. You guys got any questions? This might be a good deal without even looking at it. Numbers looks good. Why is everybody up so late? <laughs> oh man. Where did we see that text? I don't remember that tax price. It was like 1,000, 2,000, right guys? Close out here. I think it was pretty cheap. Yeah, I think it was like, it was very cheap as far as property tax, so I just say 2000 I think it was like 1500 or something. Still quick picture, so I remember what it looks like. Chew, you have a uh, bigger pockets tool here. Ah, uh, what was that purchase price? Fifty five. Fifty five. Three. After repair, let's keep it the same. I don't know, let's just say two thousand. Let's make it cash purchase, make it simple, go next. Uh what do you say? Six fifty? So let's do um Six fifty times three nineteen fifty. Electricity, let's just do seventy five water, let's just do one fifty per month. Uh I'm into insurance, let's just say ninety. Let's do five. Uh, let's just do five, five, and let somebody manage it for us for two hundred bucks. Calculate one percent rule, huh? Bam! Check this out. Numbers looks good. All the expense, monthly cash flow, nine hundred bucks, twenty percent cash on cash. Pretty damn good. Take you about take you about five years to make your money back. What do you guys think about that? Five years to make your profit back. And then after that, five years, you make this if nothing changes month to month, nine hundred bucks. Hopefully that's better than uh I mean that's some people's paycheck. So, weekly paycheck, bi weekly paycheck. So, it's pretty good. I like it. I don't know the area, but I like the numbers. So, I'm uh, just messing around here, guys. Hopefully, uh, you guys learned something. It is kind of late, so you guys aren't asking me any questions. So, uh,. I'm gonna go ahead and look at some more deals, some private deals, and then uh, get to bed. So, uh, 
hit me up let me know what you guys like and uh maybe i'll start doing some mer numbers if you any any deals you want me to look at uh i can do some numbers here for you too all right have a good night guys